Good evening. It is your boy Big D. So there you have it. AJ Styles retains the AJ vs. Shinsuke match, the match we all won at WrestleMania. It's still on. I didn't actually watch Fastlane. I was actually thinking about it, but I remembered that the Lakers were on, so I chose to watch the Lakers instead. They kicked the shit. They kicked the shit out of the Cavs, 127 to 113. Lakers finally get 30 wins. The first, the first time in however many years I haven't kept track, but it was it was been a while. And if you don't know, if you don't know, if you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram. I always leave my Twitter and Instagrams in the description box. I don't know how many I don't know how many times I have to keep telling people that, but I, I have people ask me what my Twitter and Instagram are, and I tell them that I always leave it in the description box. So yeah, yeah, I'm a Lakers fan. Julius Randle, he had a hell of a game. He had 36 points, 14 rebounds, and 17 assists, and I believe he was in there the longest. Next to KCP and Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma hasn't really been... He hasn't really been doing shit ever since we made that trade for Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas made some stupid throws, but... He still racked up... He still racked up 20 points and 9 assists. And 5 rebounds. Lonzo looked like dog shit. I'm not gonna lie. But, but anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm mainly here to talk about Fastlane. Even though I didn't watch the pay-per-view, I'm pretty... I'm happy to tell you that AJ Shinsuke, that match is still on. We still get to see that classic match. Like I said, I was thinking about it. I actually found out a way to stream it, but I didn't do it. Yeah, I, I could have done I could have done without the fucking fag day. I fucking hate the new day. I will always hate the new day. I didn't always hate them. I love I liked them when they started acting positive, when they were thinking positively. They had the whole power of positivity thing as heels, and they were like kind of trolling the faces who get upset. But from the moment they went the fucking route to where they start dry humping people, gyrating in the ring, fucking spanking each other's asses, taking cereal right out their singlets, particularly the crotch area, especially Biggie Anelstein. And of course, that fucking no talent fuck stain, John Cena. Why the fuck was John Cena in this match? Why? There was. When I fucking heard that Cena fucking beat AJ Styles to get into the match, apparently, apparently WWE has this stupid way of booking to where you gotta beat the you beat the champion to get into a championship match. I fucking hate that shit. And and when I say that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I mention this too many times, but John Cena fucking irritates the fuck out of me. I can't stand him, he's fucking garbage. He's fucking trash, he's overrated, and when I say that he has killed wrestling for me, I mean it. I quit watching, I quit watching WWE on a regular basis because of this man right here. And Stephanie. Roman Reigns, another guy, will not watch because of him. I mean, I will watch it. I, I do. I do still read results, watch Blitz team reviews, or, or at least I will once I get my Blitz Sports Network app back up and running. But in the meantime, I do still read results just to see the catch up, see what's going on. If there's good matches, I'll go check it out. Uh, let me let me turn the volume down. So, oh wait, I already have the volume down, so you won't hear any ads in the background. So this won't get copyrighted. Thank God. But yeah, I mean, why? There, when I heard that Cena beat Styles, I was fucking pissed. The reason why I didn't make a reaction to that and and flip the fuck out on camera, either be, because number one, I don't want to flip out on camera, and number two, I actually chose to go to sleep. I, I figured I might as well react to it the next day and be calmer about it. Thank God, I didn't like I said I didn't see it, so thank God I didn't see Cena making wrestling look as fake as inhumanly conceivable with his fucking weight room athleticism. But before I talk about that, I might as well talk about the Nakamura match with Rusev. I didn't I didn't like I said before, I didn't really see anything, but there was one spot in the match with Nakamura and, and Rusev. By the way, 
they didn't put any real effort into they didn't really build that match up. They did, they just announced it on the go home show that Rusev was going to face Nakamura. It's like, really? No build? Yeah, thanks, Road Dog. SmackDown fucking sucks, particularly because of Road Dog. I mean, it was much better back then when Ryan Ward was the head writer, but they put that stupid Jamoke Road Dog in charge. And it's been downhill ever since. Shit, where where is it? Yeah, there was a there was a spot in the ma there was a spot in the match where Rusev hits the Machka kick and Nakamura took a nasty bump. <laughs> Go back and look at it. Go back and look at the bump Nakamura took. You'll see he took and he like he he flies on his back and lands on his right shoulder. It was it was fucking nasty. So yeah, Nakamura beat Rusev. Good. At least give Rusev something to do. I mean, they've been keeping him off TV despite the fact that Rusev's been getting over lately. I mean, Rusev Day chants have been, have been echoing throughout stadiums recently. And I heard Randy Orton beat Bobby Roode. I like Randy Orton. I always have. I didn't agree with him beating Roode, but I like Orton. I always have. And of course, thank God the New Day didn't win. I really wish they weren't on the card. And... I was insanely discouraged at watching this pay-per-view because of the, because of this. I was initially thinking, remember the TLC pay-per-view where AJ Styles fought Finn Balor? It was the perfect pay-per-view, one I was pretty mad that I didn't see. I mean, it it was perfect. It didn't have any of the annoyances. Didn't have Cena, didn't have Reigns. Reigns was sick. And it was on Raw. It looked like Fastlane was going to be another one of those pay-per-views, but what does Vince decide to do? He adds the New Day, and he adds fucking Cena. Yeah, right then and there, I was like, yeah, I'm not so sure if I want to watch it now. And even then, I was still considering it. But yeah, hold on. Even though Cena lost, he did he did do some damage in that match, from what I've heard. They had to make sure they had to make sure he hit his finishers on everybody. By the way, I heard on Twitter that. Out of all the people that made their entrances, Cena was the only one that got booed. It was like, yeah, boo. We don't want you in this fucking match. We want you to just retire. Just go away. Why are you still here? Fucking tired of him. And I think I speak for a lot of people. And I think... And not to mention the hatred has kind of died down for Cena recently. Of course, it'll never die down with me because he helped ruin wrestling for me, like I just said. But I think most of the real Cena haters... They're not watching anymore. They fucking given up on wrestling completely. Yeah, they had to make sure Cena hit his fucking FU on everybody. Although Cena did eat a couple finishers. He ate a Styles Clash and he ate a pop-up powerbomb. Oh, thank God Cena didn't win. Thank fucking God. Because if Cena won, I would have been fucking pissed. It's like, Jesus fucking Christ. The match that we've been wanting for about... Ever since Nakamura and Styles came to the company, that's the matchup we've been wanting to see. Especially if you've seen that match. Especially if you've seen that match at Wrestle Kingdom. I mean, go if you ever get a chance, go check out that match. That match is fucking sweet. And the storytelling in that match with Styles and Nakamura is they were basically countering each other's moves to see, to see how they counter it and to see if you can hit your move on them or not. Like, so, like for example, AJ tries to hit a move on Nakamura. Nakamura tries to counter it, but then AJ Styles counters it. And it was really a matter of who can counter whose move. I believe Nakamura won with the Kinshasa. But in my opinion, I don't really care too much about what happens. But if I had to pick, I really I would really like it if AJ Styles AJ Styles won. Because I actually prefer him over Shinsuke. But I would not be mad at all if Nakamura won. Because these are arguably your two best wrestlers on the company. Them, alongside Finn, Samoa Joe. I like Braun Strowman, I really do. It wouldn't surprise... No, I'll get to it later. But yeah, even though Cena lost, thank God he didn't. It, they, they made it look like Cena was going to win at one point. Not entirely, but they had to make it to where, at one point, Cena looked like he had the match won. Like, for example, the finish, the finish to the match was... From what I'm looking here, Cena Cena takes a super kick from Ziggler, and he bounces off the rope. He no-sells it and hits the FU on him. Thank God I didn't see that, because I would imagine Cena took that move like shit. 
I mean, Cena's awkward as fuck in the ring. He's fucking terrible. But Cena, lo yeah, right there, Cena looks like he has the match won. And then Owens, Owens catches him and hits him with a pop-up powerbomb. And then Styles hits Owens with the phenomenal forearm and gets the three count for the win. So yeah, even though Cena didn't win, he did, su he did do his fucking damage in this match. But I think what's important here is that Cena lost. And that, which kind of indicates that Cena's going to face The Undertaker. It's fucking funny because people bitch and moan about Brock being a part-timer, but yet they're totally okay with Taker versus Cena. Yeah, okay. And people were actually shocked that Undertaker didn't appear at Fastlane. Why? If Why? He didn't appear at Fastlane last year when Reigns beat Strowman. They had him appear the next night on Raw. But if Taker and Dud, but if but if Taker indeed makes his return, if he were to make his return, he would have made it on he would have made it on Raw anyway, not Fastlane. I can guarantee you. I can guarantee you. The next night on Raw, John Cena gonna, gonna be like John Cena for the first time in my life, for the first time in my career, I'm going to be missing a WrestleMania. And he'll, he'll probably. Uh, It'll probably be the op it'll probably be to open up the show, or it'll probably be in the main event time slot, or maybe in the middle. Or, I mean, he'll come out and say that he doesn't have a WrestleMania moment. He'll kiss the fans' asses. He'll pander to the crowd like he always does. And either he calls out the Undertaker, or Undertaker comes out to stare him down. Speaking of stare downs, Nakamura and AJ Styles had a pretty sweet stare down. I believe that I believe the lights. I believe they had the lights flashing. It was pretty damn cool. So yeah, that match is going to be a classic, and I had people tell me that that's probably, that that's going to be the only match they even watch on Mania, and can't say I blame him because in my opinion, especially if Cena indeed does face the Undertaker, that card is going to suck. That card's going to suck. I know it's going to be Orton and Rude and the Trasher Raja. That match would be good if not for the Trasher Raja Jinder Mahal, and probably the fucking New Day is going to be on the card. Because of that, because of that finish that the Bludgeon Brothers interfered. You have Brock versus Reigns in the main event. Planet kick out. I don't. While I don't entirely agree that that should be the main event, maybe it should because it's Brock Lesnar. But it's kind of a good thing for AJ and Shinsuke. So because because it'll happen before Reigns versus Lesnar, fans won't be exactly won't be as pissed going into AJ versus Shinsuke. So they're going to be able to. They're just going to be able to enjoy that match instead of worrying about Reigns and Lesnar. And maybe they'll just stop watching after AJ versus Shinsuke. I mean, they watched the match they wanted to see and they figured they don't need to watch Reigns versus Lesnar because we all know that match is going to suck. Like I said before, all it's going to be is a bunch of fucking kickouts. It's going to be, it's going to be German suplexes from Brock in succession. Stu it's going to be, it's going to be. Punches. It's going to be stupid man punches from Roman Reigns. Clotheslines, punches, apron drop kicks, clotheslines in the corner. Maybe the Kimura, which Reigns will probably no sell knowing him. F5 Spears. That match is going to suck. All it's going to be is a bunch of fucking kickouts and brawling. Even though I kind of like brawling, but still. So yeah, there you have it. Kind of a pointless video, but I wanted to. I wanted to let you know that AJ Styles retains, so we're still going to get that match with AJ and Shinsuke. Thank fucking God, WWE finally took their head out of their ass and did something right. Thank fucking God. Anyway, until next time, like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Let's go AJ, let's go Shinsuke, I'm going to be rooting for AJ. Y'all have a good one.